once you cut your seam allowance down to a quarter, only at the curve, okay? We're gonna take the seam allowance and we're gonna base the seam allowance onto the tape. This is gonna help you turn the jacket better, all right? Hmm. And you have a nicer curve. Now, I gotta tell you that we are taking shortcuts. We usually do this at the lapel area too. We do like two and a half inches here and about two inches here, seam allowance onto tape because it turns better. But again, we are taking a shortcut, so I'm just doing it on the hem, okay? But I just told you that it's done. If you look in the book, it'll show you that, that corner right there. You're doing there. it only on the corner, you're not doing it up here? No, no, there you don't need it. Just the corner. It just helps you turn better. You cannot turn the third side. No, 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 just to keep the seam allowance. If by chance a thread shows on the right side, don't worry about it because you can clip it off, okay? Now, I'm gonna press this, and two things, you, two things you have to remember, okay? That, that from the waistline <coughs> down, from the waistline down, make sure you look at your waistline, it's facing towards the inside, making the jacket edge over the facing edge, okay? Now, from the face, from the waistline up, it's, you do it from this side, so that the facing edge, it's over the jacket, all right? So, from the waistline up at the lapel, it's facing over jacket. From waistline down, it's jacket over facing, so it's reversed, okay? I'm going to press this and I'm going to show it to you, all right?